Hello everyone and welcome back to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and in this video today brought to you in partnership with MusicTeacher.com we're going to be checking out some Beatles inspired guitar tones using Blackstar's Amped One and Cab Rig. So all of the tones you're going to hear in this video are coming directly from the Amped One which is running out of the headphone output straight into my audio interface we're using the Cabrig software to simulate the speakers in this video. So we're going to be checking out three tones that have been inspired by classic Beatles riffs. These tones are a great starting point for you to dial in some great 60s British rock sounds with your own amped setup. The guitar that I'm using in this video is a completely hollow guitar. This is sort of in the vein of an ES-330 with a set of P90s. The Beatles used a lot of Epiphone casinos in their recording career, which is a similar kind of construction. So this guitar is gonna be used today on the bridge pickup. That's gonna get me close to some of those classic sounds. So the first sound we're gonna check out is inspired by the track Come Together, and it sounds like this. So the Beatles aren't a high gain band. You'll notice on the Amped One, I've got the gain set at halfway. I'm on the UK voice, and my EQ is not really set that extreme other than quite a prominent mid boost. So I've got the bass dialed a little under midnight and the treble a little over because the Beatles did have some quite bright guitar sounds, but the mids are really pushed. Now the reason for this is the Beatles recorded a lot of their material with small speaker amps. Now those amps, when cranked, give a very pushed mid sound. So we're trying to recreate that by doing this. I've got the reverb on just over halfway, just because the Beatles would often mic things with the mic a little bit away from the speaker cone. So just to add a little bit of that space in there. And they used those classic AC combos. So I've gone with the EL84 response for that tone. The second tone we're gonna be checking out is inspired by the track Twist and Shout. And it sounds like this. <laughs> So this is a much cleaner tone. We've dialed the gain right back for this one. So the gain is somewhere around the 10 o'clock region. I'm still using that UK voice. And I'm still on the EL84 response. But where I have made some changes is in the EQ section. So I've cut the bass. So the bass is now on somewhere between nine and 10 o'clock. So there's a bit more kind of bass shaved off. And I have brought the mids down to 11 o'clock. So even though we typically want that kind of small amp response, we don't want too much mid push on this kind of tone. We want a very chimey bright tone. And that also means the treble has really been boosted on this one. I've added a touch more reverb as well, just to give it a little bit more space. The third and final tone that we're gonna check out is inspired by the track Helter Skelter. Now, as far as the Beatles go, this is quite high gain. <laughs> So this song, by 1960s standards, could be considered quite a high gain song. Now, obviously in the 60s, high gain wasn't really a big thing. Some bands did dabble in high gain stuff through fuzz and through cranking amps, and the Beatles were definitely one of those bands. So we've got the gain on max, and we're still using the UK voice for this. This is as much gain as you can get out of the amped one in this setup. So EQ-wise, the bass is exactly the same as it was the previous one. The mid is actually brought down just a touch, and the treble is now boosted to full because we want that real kind of cutting, almost aggressive sound. And there is a little bit less reverb on this. I'm still using the EL84 response for this tone. All right, so now we're gonna go over to Cab Rig and check out the Cab Rig settings that I've been using for this video. So in Cab Rig, I've actually used the same settings for all three of these sounds. All three of these sounds have been inspired by classic Beatles sounds, and I've just gone off the premise that I have one amp that I'm tweaking the EQ on to get the different tones. So the cab I'm using for this is the 2x12 classic UK combo. Now the Beatles would have used those classic AC style amps, which do have two speakers in. So we've gone for that as our cab because that's probably the most closest thing to what they would have used. 
Mic-wise, I've gone with a 67 condenser. This is one of those mics that is in pretty much every major recording studio. So the Beatles would probably have recorded with one of those mics or something very similar at some point during their career. So room, I've got a large room sound because obviously the Beatles did tend to record in large rooms in big studios. And I've got this set to the wide mode because we really want that sense of the room being quite prominent. The room is set at minus 1.6 dB, so it's only a fraction below the cabinet's volume because, again, we want that space in the sound. A lot of these bands recorded loud amps where the mic's pulled back a little bit, so we want to create some of that ambience in the tones. And then the master volume is set to 0 dB. We do have some slight EQ tweaks going on here in the master output as well. So there's a low cut, which is set to just under halfway, and there's a high cut, which is on 6.1. Those are just the kind of tame the frequency at either end of the spectrum. I brought the lows down by 2 dB because the Beatles didn't really have a huge amount of low end on their guitars. They were quite cutting sounds. And then I boosted the high mids by a dB and the highs by just under a dB. That's just to kind of, you know, just kind of push that top end through the mix a little bit more as well. This patch is also available for you to download. So if you want this patch and you want to use it with your own amped one, you can scroll down to the description and there's going to be a link or you can head over to the written accompaniment to this video over on the Blackstar website. There'll be a link in that article as well where you can download this Cabaret patch and put that into your own Blackstar architect and use this with your Amped One. Thank you all so much for watching this video on three Beatles inspired tones using Amped One and Cabaret. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see similar videos on other artists, please let us know down below in the comments who you'd like to see us make these videos about. Don't forget to check out Black Star Potential on YouTube and over on the Black Star website. There is a ton of free guitar lessons, including tone-based lessons like this one you've just watched today and other lessons that focus on technique, playing styles, theory, and everything in between. You can go over to the Blackstar website to check that out or hit subscribe on the Blackstar YouTube channel. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area to help push your skills to that next level, you can head over to musicteacher.com, type in your postcode, and it will bring up a list of all the teachers in your local area. Thank you all so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon.